In this lesson, we'll do the work together 8-1 um, problem. So we are given a partial worksheet for Fix It Now for the month ended April 30th. And it's given in your working papers, which I'll show you. And we also have a journal and a general ledger. So we don't have all of the details in the general ledger, just the ending balances after adjusting entries. So let's go through the example to journalize and post closing entries. So here is our worksheet. And now we're gonna use this information to go ahead and here's our general journal, post the closing entries. So if you remember, the four closing entries are listed in page 216 of your textbook. The first thing we'll do is go closing entries. We want to put that in center alignment so that anyone looking at our journal knows that that's what we're doing now, is the closing entries. The first closing entry we do is an entry to close the income statement accounts with credit balances. Income statement accounts with credit balances tells me income statement. There's only one and it's sales, right? So we'll close sales to income summary. So our entry will look like this. It was um, April right, 30th and sales would be our debit because we need to debit it by the amount of the total balance, which was we can just do an equals. We'll go back to our worksheet and click on that balance, 2160. And then our credit will be indented over income summary. And it will be for the same amount because our debits must equal our credits. There's our first entry um, journalized. So now we'll do another one. And our second entry is to close income statement accounts with debit balances. So first our debit will have to be to income summary and our credit will be to all of the accounts that are on the income statement with a debit balance, which is every expense, right? So we'll just go ahead and copy these expenses, control C, and then we'll just come back to our journal. We'll paste them in. Uh, you know what, I don't like that. We will paste special. We'll just paste the values so that the formatting remains. Double click in, because we need to indent each one of these. And indent. Imagine a much larger business, how many accounts there might be on this list. All right, so there they are. And the amounts for these expenses we'll need to get from our worksheet and they are here. If I just control C, copy them and come over to this page, we know that they're going to be credited so that we zero out their balances and we will paste special with values again. So doesn't ruin my formatting. And then we'll know income summary must be equal to the sum of all of the expenses. So there is our second entry. Third closing entry this is an entry to record net income or net loss and close income summary. Okay, so according to our worksheet, our net income was $677, right? So since it's a net income, income summary will be debited. And the credit will be to the capital account, which was um, Connor Whitney comma capital. So, Connor Whitney Capital. And that amount was, I think, 677, but I'll just do an equals and click on that cell. 
and then I can make sure that I don't copy it down wrong. And again, this was on the 30th. And one more closing entry. And that is to close the owner's drawing account. So it would be um, a, or a debit to the capital account and a credit because this drawing account is a debit balance. So we have to give it a credit to zero it out. And the amount of this will be the amount of drawing on here, 1700 There we go. There are our four closing entries. So what did our instructions say to do next? We were supposed to journalize and post them. So now we need to post these closing entries that we just did onto our general ledger. So the first one is a debit to sales for 2160 and page eight of our journal. So 2160 debit to sales. We'll go to our ledger, we'll find our sales account and a debit 2160 and it was on page eight. Oops, this was 2160, and then here it would, by adding a debit, we would make this a zero, right? Yes, and this is um, on the 30th, so account number 410, we'll bring that, oh, one too many, back to our journal in the post reference 410, and now Income summary gets 2,160 credit. So go back to our ledger, find income summary, and G8, and they get a credit of 2,160, and that leaves us a balance of 2,160. And account number 330, we'll bring it back to our journal. And again, we have to post all of these. Now we're doing uh, 1483 debit to income summary. So 1483, and then this will be equals 2160 minus 1483, because we had a credit balance. Subtract the debit off, leaves us with 677. Again, this was still page G8. And still April, that didn't go over the last time. And this would still be the 30th. Only need to write them up once. Count 330, we'll go back and put it here. Advertising expense. So each one of these expenses should be zeroed out for their um, total balance. So we've got 460 for advertising expense. So we'll come over here and that will get a credit of 460 on the 30th and G8 and that will be a zero and that's account number 510. Now cash shorten over $6 credit. So we'll come over here, cash shorten over, credit of six, and a balance of zero. G8 on the 30th, it's account 520. So we will write that in there so we know we've posted. Insurance expense, 125. Insurance expense, credit of 125. Oh, balance of zero, G8, and the 30th, count 530. Miscellaneous expense, 189. So we'll come over here, 189 credit, G8, the 30th, 
and a zero balance. Now, account number 540 and supplies expense 153. So we'll come over to supplies expense 153 credit makes this a zero balance from journal page 8 on the 30th and account number 550. Uh, I think this should have been a 540, not 640. Okay, utilities expense is 550 on the 30th, G8. A credit of 550 leaves us with a zero balance, and this was account number 560, and it is posted. Now our third entry. We have income summary for 677 debit. Income summary on the 30th on G8, a debit of 677. So we would subtract that off, and you and I can both see that it's going to be zero now, which is exactly what it should be. We're closing out the income summary. Two, um, record the net income to the owner. So we'll do 330, we posted it, and Connor Whitney Capital gets that 677 credit, which will increase his balance. So here's his account on the 30th, uh, G8, and it was a 677 credit, so equals the balance is the old balance, Plus this credit is 81.20. This is account 310. And then the capital account reduces by 1700. So um, in the 30th, G8 had a debit of 1700 to eliminate the drawing, so it's equals this amount, the old balance, and it's gonna be minus a debit because capital account's a credit balance. So that amount left, 310 is our account number, and the drawing, $1,700 credit to eliminate the drawing. Um, zero that balance for the month. So on the 30th, G8, and we had a credit of $1,700, which will give us a zero balance. And that's account number 320. So now if we look through our general ledger, we should see that all of our temporary accounts, so that means income summary is a zero, that means the drawing is a zero, sales is a zero now, um, advertising expense, cash, all of these expenses, cash short and over, not just cash, all of these expenses, they're all zeros. The only accounts that still have balances on them are, are assets like cash, petty cash, accounts receivable, supplies, prepaid insurance, and our payables, our liabilities, and our capital account. Everything else has been zeroed out, so we should be good. That should conclude our closing entries and I think it concludes what we were asked to do and work together 8-1 which was to journalize and post the closing entries. So now I feel confident you can do work on your own 8-1.